What's good and what's up guys, let's do Jet here with some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we made it here to Hollow Bastion. Riku took the Keyblade from us, but we took it right back along with Donald and Goofy. In this episode, we're going to continue going through Hollow Bastion. Uh, we need to head to the library, since that's the only way we can go. If you continue down the hallway that I was just looking at, uh, you will notice that there's actually a door there, which we can't do anything about quite yet. Uh, the thing about this, uh, the library is, is you gotta pick up these books, put them in the right area, and the bookcases will move. Makes no sense, yes, but it's a video game, so that, that's about it. Uh, let me think. You have these also, uh, little areas right here. I want to not touch anything, so. What you need to do is turn them. I think you just gotta turn them a set number of times, uh, and they and the chest will appear, so let me try it one more time. I really don't know how to get this to work, but... Really? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to stop it at a certain point? There we go. I I, I was just pressing the next button there. Honestly, I have no idea how to make those stop uh, like on a certain point, but... Let's see. We have another one right here to work with. They will, these things will not contain books, they just contain treasure chests. I'm just gonna press the X button. Smash the X button. That's what say we put it, but mash, but mash. I'm probably gonna miss what say quite a bit because she's a good friend of mine. And the fact that she also guest star in a few episodes ago. We got Mithril. Uh, so let's see. Here's a book right here. Uh, I don't think that goes here. That is in. There's a green book that really stands out. That doesn't go there. So let's see. What is, which one is this? T. Here we go. This book is the required one to continue going forth. But there's actually other stuff to do. So uh, I'm going to show all that. There we go. The door is open. Nice. We got another one of these. I think there's only four of them in these rooms. There we go. I didn't even do anything. So I guess it's randomized or something. Uh, there's a chest way over here, as well as a final, uh, thing to turn. So let's see what's in this one. Nice save, Donald, I saw that. So let's go ahead and turn this one. Come on. Turn. Come on. Uh, I really don't get these things at all. Like, just, are you supposed to press X or something at a certain point, or... I don't understand this. There we go. Still confused, but whatever. And we get AP up, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and drop down in here. And let's see. If we want to take this. My phone just went off. And we get... Pretty much S volume. So we want to put this here, and let's see, where is the other one at? Uh, we want to put this one right here. That will slide over that way. Now this part confuses me, but I'm not going to give up so easily like I did in my practice file. Um, there's the blue book. Where is it at? I don't have that yet. Um, trying to think where the books are. I know if you stand on this thing, I think Sora writes it down. Oops. No, that's in the main hall. Never mind. Um, oh, yeah, Trendy right here. not required to do this at all. The only thing that's required... Is... No. The only one that's required is uh, this shelf right here. We could leave right now if we wanted to, but since I want to get stuff, we're doing the uh, not required stuff. Uh, here it is. That moves that bookcase over. Hey, Donald. Let's see. We need to find the other green one, but I have no idea where that's located. 
I found it before, god. It was funny as I beat this um I beat my practice file just yesterday too, so you would think I remember all this stuff, but apparently not. Is it behind this shelf right here? No. Where's it at? Um I don't recall where it is located. Because we got it. Do I have the book here? No. Oh, where is that? I realize this is not the most entertaining thing to watch, just me running around a library, but. Um. Somewhere around. Wait, 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 let's go around real quick. Not my luck. It will probably be located. There it is. Yoink. So let's see. That phrase. Okay. Okay, I got this. I got this. We take this one up here. Put it right here. That opens. There you are, you little rascal. Little rascal, what? Alright, so we get Mava. No, jump down, Sora. Put it here. That opens. There's a book right there. There we go. That's how you do it. Good job. Okay, so where we want to go now is we want to put this right here. And then before heading off to continue Apollo Bastion, we want to go to the lift shop. You want to actually get used to this, because you'll be coming here quite a bit. Uh, the lift shop will actually have a bunch of treasure located, that you'll see these, chest, uh, these chests up. You'll need to use um, gravity to get them down. So there's Tornado G. Let's use this, and be prepared for one of the longest cinematics in the world. So in here we'll see there's another uh, chest that we gotta use gravity for. And if you want, uh, you could use gravity over there because we'll be going there later. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. Open this up, and we get it, Ultima G. Can't get that chest yet. We'll get that later on, very later on. I'm not going to uh, let you guys watch this again. I'll see you back in the library. All right, so back here in the library, uh, I'll go ahead and get my magic back. We need that. And let's head back into the main hall. Entrance hall, my bad. Same thing, really. Uh, so, there's actually multiple st uh, stuff to do here, like all these... Do you tell me? Oh, no, one... Oh, this one tells me. The candle's out. So what do we do? Fire! 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 Fire. So we gotta go around and light all these torches. No, stop that. That. Oops. Fire. That. We'll ignore this guy. We'll come back to him in a moment. Fire. 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 Skipping on over to go this way. I believe these are the final two torches. Fire. So fire. Fire. And there we go. That one has been the fire in the middle of it turned off. So since we're right here, let's go ahead to Trinity. There's another piece right there. We destroyed a very nice look. Wait, hang on. Hang on one second. Do I see the heartless symbol on the carpet? I'm going to look at that when I get down there. So let's come over over here. And let's see what this guy's got to say. Oh, mighty one, prove your strength by moving me. Okay. Move you up so slightly. There you go.
And then the final one, I believe, is over. Oh yeah, over here. What's this thing? That's not what I want to do. Oh, my magic. Um, well, you know what they do at a time like this, right? Take out ether. Ether. What does this one do? Thunder. Oh, does that? Oh, the platform's moved too. That's that's right. So I believe this is the final one. Oh, my one. Show me your crushing power. All right, so now we can pick up the. Whoa. Now we can pick up the pieces, starting with the one up here. So we'll come back for later. Emerald, please. Here, emblem piece. Grab this. Yeah, there are heartless symbols in the floor. That is a cool little touch. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Grab this. We got another emblem piece. And the final one is in the chest right here. And there we go. Alright, so now let's go ahead and go over this way. And you'll notice, giant heartless symbol. What's kind of annoying about this though, is you gotta put in each piece separately. Granted, the cinematic right here isn't very long, but I, I kind of wish if you grabbed all of them at the same time, they would all fit in at the same time. Why? It was mine. Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. Well now, apparently the man from the, uh, Destiny Islands is here. Hmm. Who'd have thought? Anyway, so let's go ahead and go up to the lift shop. Now we begin to climb the Hollow Bastion. So we're going to come over here first. We're actually going to make the descent of Hollow Bastion, not the climb of Hollow Bastion. I'm so witty. And now we can actually take out the Heartless. Feels nice to be able to wield the Keyblade again after like one episode. I mean, we, we were weak for a moment of time. We, we couldn't do anything. But anyways, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go back down to the waterway because there's actually some stuff to do here. So let's see. We have a defender to take care of. Uh, we don't have enough magic for our arsenal cannons. That's fine. So take these guys out. You can actually counterattack on their shields, and eventually you can knock them. Um, like you can stun them and actually be able to attack them. But the main strategy you want to do is just jump over the shield. See, if you. There you go. Use it a bunch of times so you can actually stun them. So there you go. At least to a dungeon, at least to a little shop. Uh, I'm going to attack these guys. I don't want to accidentally step on that pressure plate and not go down. These guys right here. Uh, I'm just going to call them the wizard, uh, the wizard Heartless. They're actually kind of annoying for the sheer fact that uh, they teleport. And then they will eventually get to a state. Really? Come on. Really? They'll teleport sometimes to the exact same area. Uh, don't cast uh, thunder though, because you can actually uh, recover. A they're made to recover HP. So I used to just smack them straight up with um, offense instead of magic. Uh, what makes them annoying though is if they get into a certain uh, like state where they're casting thunder repeatedly, then you cannot attack them whatsoever. There's also Dragon Heartless. These guys are really cool, but they're also 
really annoying. Like, their design is cool, yes, but their attack's annoying because they will die bomb you occasionally. Ow, I want to heal real quick because if I take another hit. Yeah, see, if I took another hit, that would have been devastating. The music, the battle music is actually pretty funny uh, for Hollow Bastion, but I do prefer the normal theme itself. Let's head down to the dungeon. Oh, we don't really need to do anything here of no reserves. Yeah, we're, there's like optional treasure to do there, but I'm not I'm not going to pick up the optional treasure. You can go explore yourself, but I'm not picking it up. So up here in the lift shop, um, I do this. Yay, mithril! And then we get stuff to raise our MP up. And now let's go ahead and head back down to the waterway. But yeah, there's plenty of optional treasure to go pick up. I'm not going to, mostly because I'm good. I I have like strategy uh, set for me, and uh, I don't really need anything else. So go ahead and actually make the descend of Hollow Bastion, or ascend, not descend. <sighs> I'm so stupid with some of the stuff I say. But no, let's actually go ahead and start working our way up. Jump over. Attack you, good sir. Jeez. <laughs> if you cast gravity, you pretty much are set to wail the crap out of everyone. Now this area can be quite annoying. One thing that's annoying about Hollow Bastion is the fact that if you do it incorrectly, you will actually fall off into the waterway and have to climb all the way back up. It's annoying, yes. I do like this world, but that is one of the gripes I have about it. <laughs> but uh, trust me, I'm not going to be complaining uh, as much uh, anymore about the game because this is where the game really just does start to pick up and it does really become one of my favorites. I mean, it's not my absolute favorite, but it is in my top five. Most because they're like only seven key Norris games. So you want to activate this to get that platform moving while I can just easily glide. I will pick up some of the occasional treasures since they'll be on the way, but the stuff in the waterway, that's just like out of the way. There's, okay, there's the other uh, Dalmatian. So we only have one, or we only have three more left to pick up. I want to check, make sure, check real quick and make sure. Uh, no, we have six more. Okay. Uh, there's some around. I know where one of them uh, are located. So it's actually 12 here. I thought it was only nine. Whatever. I'll find uh, all the Dalmatians, I promise. Now this part is actually really cool because when you get on this lift, as you see it's gigantic, so you can actually get a really cool look at Hollow Bastion. Like you can see it's a massive castle. And I really do like the giant heartless symbol and how like you can tell it's been there for uh, years, so it's kind of started to deteriorate or deteriorate. But yeah, this is um the view that we right there is actually uh, where we went. And now we have Heartless to fight. Yeah, it'll stop about halfway for a Heartless to come attack you. And then, um, it'll continue going. Let's see. There you are. Yeah, see right here. Can't, uh, casting Thunder so you can't really do anything. Then you can do stuff when it's done. Come on. And done. Now, if there are, like, any of these, like, say, MP balls or something that you want to pick up, do them now, because when you activate that, yeah, they start moving. They don't stay uh, in one place and they fall off. So moving on, we need to head over there. So we went from the right to the left side to the right side of the castle. Attack it, attack it, Sora, attack! On... Nice. And if you watch it, it will actually, it's actually heading back. A lot faster than when it traveled. So we're gonna go ahead and do this Trinity, grab that chest. Ooh, Mega Elixir. Nice. Cottage. Nah, not too important. I don't know why I'm picking these up, but I don't need them. And we get this um, spell G. So, I think that's going to do it now for this episode. Uh, next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, we're going to continue climbing Apollo Bastion. Hopefully, we'll meet up with Maleficent, Riku, and we'll save Kairi somehow. So, see you all next time.